going looking so nice in your trench coat? We're heading on a flight to London. Oh, is this a baby room? No, it's not. <laughs> Can it be a baby room? No, it cannot be. <laughs> Just a vacation. But the baby is coming. You don't know. <laughs> First stop, London. We're gonna be here for two days. London has so many things to do. We're gonna be doing most of the free stuff because why not take advantage of the two days well? First stop is the British Museum. By the way, if you're watching this video to learn what to do and what not to do, this is not the video for you. <laughs> we are going to wing it. We know nothing. We chose the British Museum as our first stop because it was walkable from our hotel and we thought it would be an easy, free first stop for our trip to make us feel like we were already productive on our first morning and get in the swing of things in London. But between you and me, Tillman and I actually have a secret. I'll be honest here. I'm just pretending to care. I have no idea what these things are and honestly, I'm not even reading anything. As Carolyn and I don't really do museums too well, unless there's a big dinosaur or something. If we actually happen to see something truly cool, we'll make sure to show you. It's not that we don't like museums. We just don't need to travel to London to learn all about Egypt. I kind of have museums like that at home and I didn't want to waste my time there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of the exact same pot here. I think they could have cut it down to one and moved on. This part of the museum, we do like. Some of the fun big stuff. The other rooms where there's a lot of tiny little things, coins and pots and pans, not a big fan. So I know people in India may not think this is a big deal, but one of the most well-known Indian foods, you actually get it in London. Probably not the cheapest, so we gotta try it for sure. It says it's UK's oldest Punjabi restaurant. That's probably a big fat lie. We'll fact check later. He has a first vacation food and it's nothing but Indian food. And I've heard the best Indian food in it is right here in London. Let's rewind a bit so we can show you our hotel room. Our first hotel of the trip was our London hotel, the St. Giles, which was centrally located, super affordable and simple and just what we needed for our two night stay. It was located right next to tube stations and bus stops. It also had restaurants and most importantly, a Primark located right next door. A Primark is a massive, super cheap store similar to Target. Everything is very fashionable and it absolutely saved my life because after the first day of London, I realized I did not have the correct shoes and my feet were killing me. For 12 euros, I bought new cute ones that lasted the trip. Next, we change clothes and get ready for the evening of our first night in London. We'll be on one of those tomorrow. Maybe today. We are just not sure of the road today. <laughs> We're at the Borough Market and I already got my first free sample wild mushroom risotto. I see some. The Borough Market is very famous and very touristy and worth a stop. It's like a farmer's market. There's so many food stalls and such unique cuisines. The most surprising thing is there was a free bathroom. It was really tiny and super clean. And at about 18 weeks pregnant, it was very convenient for me to find that. Bathroom stops came quick and often for me. We're heading to St. Paul's Cathedral, which is one of the biggest cathedrals here in the UK. And usually the entry fee is 20 bucks, but if you make it to special mass timings the entry is free so that's why it's sort of rushing although we did just hear the church bells and we're about five minutes out well, that's pretty much on brand for us we are usually late to church we're on the harry potter bridge the cathedral is right there on the way we're using millennium bridge which is a landmark in itself has been featured in quite a few movies so quite a tourist attraction here let me just run through <laughs> worry though, Death Eaters aren't real. At least we didn't see any. Now let's commemorate our first argument of the trip because Telwyn did not want to stop and take a picture. After power walking across the bridge, we finally made it to St. Paul's Cathedral and you're just able to walk around or sit and enjoy the chorus. It was really very nice. We're live. 
is from Leicester Square, which numerous YouTubers told us to avoid because it's so touristy. Spoiler alert, someone and I are tourists, and we love touristy spots. And this place has this place called Greg's. You got a huge slice of pepperoni pizza, which is incredible, and a coffee together, a specialty coffee. How uh -huh. much? The whole, the whole thing's like three months. So we each got a set, and now we're walking around in this gorgeous weather with our pizza and our cappuccinos. Here's where I should probably cut in and say that Telwin and I have a low threshold on quality of food, and we like to eat and drink on the go. So if you're fancier than us, you're not going to like Greg's. And we're about to go into the Lego store. Keep it posted. And we're going to check out every touristy store out there. I mean, how can anyone resist the M&M store? Come on. We've been walking all night and accidentally we've run into Chinatown. We were supposed to head there tomorrow, but now we are here, so let's walk along. Okay, we're wrapping up our first day and we've arrived at Lead to Hall Market. Let's point to it. Hall Square, right here. And it actually is one of the locations of the Harry Potter movies. So Can you give us a quick recap? So today, we arrived at 8.30, got to our hotel, dropped off our bags, really? walked to the British Museum, walked back to our hotel, ate an Indian lunch at the oldest Punjabi restaurant in London, went to the choir mass at St. Paul's Cathedral where a lady died, was married. Borough Market. We went to Borough Market, ate Thai food, and our first pan au chocolat, and then we rode the bus. We've ridden several underground metros. And now we're finishing up at Lean Hall. But we're not done, folks. Tonight is a big, big UFC show. So big that Telwin wanted to get us tickets. Little did he know. They're like $600 each. So we're going to be watching that tonight at a local pub. Here we watched a rare occurrence, an English champion winning the main event in his home country. Stay tuned for London part two.